So, I have a little bit of a confession to make. I, in the last episode, had a little bit of trouble getting together a little bit of the GeoJSON data that I was showing you from my website. I may have edited it to make it look like it wasn't a big deal and I just had the data ready, but I actually had some problems. And I wanted to go over some of those issues and also some other issues you're typically going to run into that I've alluded to in this formatting and zoom um, section. So I'm sorry for hiding that secret from you, but it had to be done for the sake of teaching. The show must go on. Okay, so you got problems, I got problems. We got the GeoJSON problems, we got the shape shapefile problems, we got data conversion problems, we got finally formatting it and just getting it just right problems. Um, and we got tools to help us. We have um, some Mapbox Classic stuff we're going to talk about next time. We've got Ge this thing called GeoJSON Rewind. We got Tippecanoe. We got, we got that sounds weird. We got a lot of different stuff going on. Um, and hopefully you don't wind up in space because of all this. Uh, I think it's safer than that. And let's just head out and start dealing with, why don't we look at what actually happened to me last time. So let's go back to my site. Here. And I have some information here in these different kind of coordinates. So you can see when it loads, um, it looks like a nice GeoJSON, but I can't select it because it's loading and the page is kind of having a hard time. So that that's fine. That, that just takes a little time. But let's say that you run into a GeoJSON file like this and um, you just want to collect it. If it sits in a text form like this, it'll actually work. You can just highlight the whole thing and you should just be able to grab it. But you can see my browser, partly because uh, I have a plugin installed or two, or sometimes browsers like to format these because they know developers are running into them all the time. If I format it like this, and then I try Control A, copy, and then go place that into page here, I get all the information and it's all fine. So it all is okay. So I'm just gonna save it. Um, um, not sure where I say it. There it is, json.json. Okay, so I, I'm just showing this to you for, for information's sake. So this looks like a good JSON. It all formats great. Um, we're going to head to a tool called, just to kind of double check that everything is working, let's go to geojson.io. Um, and just we can just put in that data right off the bat. So let's go. Um, so nothing shows up here. Okay, why don't we go try to upload it into Mapbox, into a data set. So let's upload, I know I have it here. It says parse error on line one type feature collapse section string got invalid on line one, line zero. Okay, so there's a problem on the very first line. So let's go up. So you can see here there's some kind of issue. I don't know. You wouldn't necessarily know what this is. What it actually is, is that these need to be all double quotes. All of this stuff. So you could do something like a find. You could do control F and then find everything. But honestly, it's not a very good approach because there may be some other property on one particular feature somewhere that you're going to want that you don't remember or that it just breaks things constantly. So you need to have a better approach than this. And ultimately, if this wasn't clear about it, we can go over to, um, you know, this also indicates there's a problem. If we paste a uh, GeoJSON in, nothing shows. That's probably a problem. And then there's also another decent site, although it's been a little broken lately. It's not quite up to date, um, but it's still very handy for helping you find some issues. And that's just GeoJSON Lint. And I can just copy again and paste this whole thing in. And this is with a couple changes. But not many, and it'll take just a second. It'll take a large file. Um, you can see parse error on line six, uh, expected string. This looks a lot like the map box error, so I think they're probably using a very similar parser, if not the same one. Um, so again, in this case, that's what this means. Expecting string got invalid. Now you would have to find, you know, it took me a long time to figure out this the first time, but that's the advantage of you having me to tell you that. So you need to make sure your GeoJSONs are formatted in a very strict JSON format. With it, it can't in in web development you can use it like that, but not in the GeoJSON. In the GeoJSON is strictly must be double quoted. Um, so that's one error that I could have I I ran into there. Another error is that I actually went to a different place um, in my site. This file, 
uh, that was actually linking originally, and maybe this is what comes directly from Mapbox, I'm not sure. Um, now, it's, it's obviously a little strange. There's a lot of slashes in it, and it didn't format as a JSON. So that's already an indication to me that, like, oh, maybe there's something wrong with this formatting. But here, let's uh, let's paste it in here. It's all also quite large. Let's take that and let's just put it into GeoJSON lint and see what it says. Root of a GeoJSON object must be an object. So this whole thing, and now it looks like I've just basically froze the editor. It's too much information for it to handle, so that's a problem. So this kind of stuff is what you're going to run into when you work with GeoJSONs. Maybe I'll go here and say, okay, how can I get out all of these little pieces? Can I maybe make a little script that will run that will grab this at text and will remove little pieces of it so I can make sure. So you can see even um, when I'm fairly familiar with the format and I've been through a lot of GeoJSON work, uh, you still can run into these just basic errors with how the things have been formatted. Another common error that you're going to run into is um, one that's a little new and it has to do with polygons and it actually is last time yeah, they actually have it with their example GeoJSON here. They have it a problem, and that's the a right-hand rule for um, GeoJSONs that are polygons and multi-polygons. So this can be a little bit of a hassle if you just uh, it doesn't even make sense what what it is off the ha off top of your head. Um, but what it is is that they've implemented a thing in GeoJSON and it's being more strict, and Mapbox requires it, where the coordinates must go in a certain direction around the polygon. You can't have polygons that go this way. You have to always have them go that way. And so uh, they haven't necessarily implemented that here, so they get they get an error with it. Um, but there is a tool that we can use for that particular error, and that's um, GeoJSON Rewind that I was alluding to before. So if we head to uh, here, GeoJSON Dash Rewind. I'm sure both of them do the same thing. But this is just the one that I prefer. Um, just stick with me while I go through it. So here in Mac, that's under a terminal. Um, in Windows, you're going to have a different way to install this, but uh, this is a node module, so you can install it with NPM. You're gonna ins I'm installed it globally, um, and I'm just going to run it here. So I've uh, downloaded, let's see, this broken one. It's a broken polygon that this says you should follow the right-hand rule. And I've pasted it here and saved it as broken.json um, in my downloads. So let's see here. Where are we? So here we are in um, in downloads. So now I'm just going to run this command um, according to what they have in the documentation here, which is geojson rewind geojson rewind uh, broken.json. And then, in order to get it into another file, which is what I need, I'm going to output it to a file with that uh, greater than symbol. And I'm just going to call it not broken.json. All right, so it seems to have run. And uh, we do have a file called not broken.json, so let's open that up. All right, it's got a geojson in it. That's good. Let's go load it over here. Ah, no errors. So we did it did rewind it so that it made sure it's going in the right way. It even worked now on the normally broken GeoJSON lint site. So that's a handy little uh, module. And in general, GeoJSON.io is also handy for helping you sort out GeoJSONs, but it also prioritizes displaying a GeoJSON over formatting it exactly. So I'd say the first time you grab a GeoJSON, try to throw it in GeoJSON.io. Try to fix it, mess around with it, see if you can figure out the error. If not, go over to GeoJSON Lint. It will tell you the line that the error is happening on. If you have a text editor, you can go find the line. In this case, it's all one line, so you may have to use some kind of indenting tool to break that up. Um, but it will tell you the line, and that then you can go try to identify the problem. And it may be a systemic problem in your whole GeoJSON, or it may be a problem with just one single feature with a bad coordinate or a negative sign in the wrong place or something like that. Um, and all of those is, are something you're going to have to face and it's unpredictable exactly what's going to be wrong. But be aware of uh, things like the quotes missing, things like a wrong number of, of arrays when it comes to 
uh, the coordinates of incorrect coordinates of this rewound GeoJSON thing and just to make sure that your object is really set up just right for your GeoJSON.